Thanks for coming back. We're on part three of making the beer bottle engine too. Enjoy. I'm gonna start to assemble some of the pieces. Right now everything's kind of loose, not really fit it together. So for me to really start to size things up properly, I need to start to securing it together. For this, I've kind of scored the surface a little bit here of the copper. I'm gonna use the silicone once again to attach it. Um, so nice about that is it has a little give and stuff because the expansion rates. Okay. Tend to be a little different. Let's get some on here. We'll spread it around a little more with the. Uh, I have the tube sticking out just a hair, so it kind of nests perfectly in the hole there. I'm just going to press that together. And find something to put a little weight on it and just kind of hold it together and dry. That'll be a good weight. At this point, I'm ready to glue the top onto the cylinder. I've uh, installed some hooks that I'm going to use to uh, spring attach everything together. I've had some issues with that in the past, but so what I'm going to do is just put the, the silicone around the top, let it harden a little bit, and then put everything together. Right here, I had that little bit of a chip. I got, I'm putting a little backing on it to. Uh, Give it a little extra support as it sets up. I'll just go around and so we have our lip of silicone on there. We're going to get set up to uh, get that uh, attached down here. And just Use that support to hold it upside down. I'm going to let this harden a few minutes and I'm going to put it on and center it up nicely. Alright, I kind of put it on there, kind of iron things up and lining things up with the side support to make sure that kind of goes in the right spot. Darn it. <clears throat> and I'm just going to, I took this out and I'm going to, because it would have been hard to slide. The cylinder over it without getting some on the sides, and I'm just gonna slide her in now. Make sure everything's centered perfectly. Just kind of eye it up around the sides. Looks like uh, it's pretty good. Doesn't touch anywhere, so that's perfect. At the bottom, I'll put silicone on on the edge, and I want it so I can remove it from different bottoms. So I'm gonna, I have a couple things planned for it where I need it to be able to be re removable. So I'm just going to put a bead on here, then I'm going to set it on this flat surface with the uh, wax paper on it. And let it set up as a gasket that's attached to the bottom. Okay, I have the stuff on there. I'm going to just down on the surface here. For the uh, air channel, Ready to pull it off yet? So we just want to, it took a bit of um, a little bit of shaping to get the right angle on the bottom. Basically, just by working it on a piece of sandpaper to uh, refine it a bit. The hole's a little off. I've updated my plans to uh, make it more close to what this is. So if I were to remake it, it would be better. We're going to just let the silicone around the opening here. I don't actually want it to go in the opening or plug it, so just be careful here. Touch it down. 
The gasket is set up nicely now. The plan is I'll be able to put it on my uh, Sterling engine candle stands and use a spring to attach it between the eyelet and the holes in the top of this candle stand supports. The springs can be, uh, when you're putting the springs on, you have to be sure to hold the engine tightly or it'll flop off. By doing this I'll be able to experiment with different bottoms, uh, run it with a metal bottom directly on our, cook sto on our wood stove, run it with a candle stand, with a candle without a metal bottom. So gives me some options. For the drive mechanism, I'm actually going to make a bellow, similar to like uh, the bellows on player pianos would have. This was a kind of a test prototype. I needed actually to have a, a little more range of motion so that the middle range where I wanted to operate with the least stress is uh, where it's going to function. I'm actually going to make it from a thinner piece of wood than I used in the prototype. Initially I'll just cut out both sides and uh, cut in my opening to connect to the air tube. We have our two wooden halves of the uh, bellow cut out. I haven't worked out really the best way to do this yet, but I need to make the hinge now. So I'm going to just temporarily hold them together with a piece of tape while we glue the hinge piece on the interior. This is the pattern for the bellow. I'm just going to make it out of paper. I've thought about using different things, maybe even uh, like silk or different materials, cotton. But uh, we're going to try and do this with just straight up paper. And we'll seal it with some thinned uh, silicone on the inside once it's all together. So I'm going to put some creases in here just to. paper's a little bigger, thicker, I'll just trim off the excess once I have it all glued together. I'll try to do one side first and then I'll do the other side. So. Thinned up some uh, high temp silicone with some mineral oil. I'm going to try and made it pretty thin. I'm going to try and get it inside the bellow. somehow get it out. 
The idea being that it'll... Oh, she's full. Well, we'll get it on the wood too, attack. Inside and out. Not really sure how I'm going to attach the bellow to the air channel. I'm hoping to come up with some way to clamp it, remove it, you know, swap it out with other bellow designs. Find out what works best. So I'm going to coat one side with uh, kind of a flat silicone layer so that it can be clamped for a seal. We're at about the 10 minute mark, so I'm going to break for the next video. I guarantee the next video will actually have a clip of the engine running. Thanks a lot for watching.